four is the number of AA batteries that this particular plug-and-play takes. Hey everybody, welcome to another gameplay video. This time around it is the Golden Tee Golf Game um, Home Edition. Looks pretty interesting. Um, like I said, this takes four AA batteries. It, right here is the little compartment. Um, very, very cool. Kind of like the Golden Tee Arcade Machine. A little miniature version of it. Um, you can see right there, there's some uh, buttons and stuff. You've got your left and right right there, uh, I guess, to adjust the ball wherever you need it. The uh, back button to go back in the menus. The backspin, you know, to give, give your ball a little backspin when you uh, swing. Uh, and, of course, your select and start button is right there, uh, self-explanatory right there. So, uh, on and off switch is at the bottom there, so not too bad. Um, it's got a place for a AC adapter. Uh, looks like it takes um, DC 6 volts, I think. Yep. So um, if I have one of those, I don't. So I'm using uh, four AA batteries. So we will go ahead. Of course, there's the trackball. You can see that. It's just uh, um, just kind of moving everything around right there. So we will go ahead and uh, dive or drive on into this game. Uh, we've got play, play around of the game. Uh, match play, I guess that's uh, you against the computer. Tournament mode is self-explanatory. And driving range. So, what we'll go ahead, I'm just going to play um, play around real quick. Let's just go ahead and jump into that. I'm going to hit the button. Um, of course, one player, you know, just, just one right now. So, we'll go ahead and play that right now. Uh, okay, so there you go. Graphics look pretty good, kind of. Kind of similar to the arcade version. I, I like it so far. A little ambient. Uh, what what makes this golf game I think pretty cool is the trackball. It's kind of it's kind of real cool. So I'm gonna hit left. You hit left and right on the buttons there, and you can kind of choose where to go. Um, left and right on the uh, trackball, and I can choose whichever club I want to. Which uh, not that experienced at it. So I'm going to go ahead and just uh, roll backwards and then roll forwards and swing and just to see where it goes. Kind of kind of like an analog type of game. So pretty cool. So not too bad. I got, uh, got pretty good far on that. Let's go ahead and see if we can we'll try that again. Let's see if I can get a little backspin on this little, this little bad boy. Um, hmm. not too bad. Takes some getting used to here. All right. Oh yeah. Oh, that was so close. All right. All right. You gotta pay attention too of the uh, the way the ground kind of is um, leveled, whether it's on a tilt or something. So let's go ahead and see if I can knock it. Oh, par. Mm. All right. So first round, not too bad. Kind of really my first time playing this, so it's uh, pretty interesting. Again, this little joystick kind of captures the uh, the arcade version pretty well. Feels pretty good. The uh, analog, the uh, roller ball, the uh, track ball, that is. What would be cool is to see somebody hack this where you can play Centipede or any of the old trackball games on it. That would be pretty cool if somebody could do that. I know somebody has uh, hacked the Space Invaders uh, joystick to work on the Atari 7800, so that would be pretty cool. So let's go ahead and continue to round two. So we'll go ahead. Pay attention also to the wind, which is... Uh, Six miles per hour heading um, towards the uh, west there, it looks like. All right, let's go ahead. I'll swing back. And then I'll just see if I can, how far I can swing here. All right, cool. Really, you gotta got to kind of swing back and then just as fast as you can try to swing, uh, roll it forward and see, uh, see how far you can go on it. So let's go ahead. 
All right. Uh, ooh, very not bad, not bad. I tell you, golf, golf, and baseball are probably my two games that are, are my favorites of uh, sport games, of the ones I can really sit down and play. All right, let's see. I'm trying. You can see kind of the way the um, ground is kind of tilted there. So I am going to let's try to get this in. No. Ooh, too far. Too far. Okay. Still getting the hang of this. All right, here we go. All right. Oh, yeah. Bogey. Mm. All right. Let's go ahead and try round three. All right, as you can see, I'm going to have to go down the fairway a little bit and then just kind of curve to the left. So let's go ahead and do that. The wind is against me, too, looks like. And also, this has got like a little directional thing on it, so the way you push up on that, whether it's the directional or what have you, so you can actually go that way. So, very interesting. All right, I see. All right, I'm going to try this. Oh, I just uh, not fast enough. Not far enough, rather. All right, actually, I'm going to try my left hand this time. Oh, oh, so close, so close. I can imagine this game in the arcades. I would love to play this in the arcade. I've seen it, never really sat down and played it, but I know it's been, it, it has been really popular in... I've seen it in arcade places, um, you know, pizza places, even like Walmarts or retail places. I've seen them. So this looks like it's uh, been a pretty popular game post uh, arcade era, the peak of the arcade eras. It's kind of kind of simple too. So something like everybody could play. Although I'm not doing too well at the moment. All right, let's see here. Ah. Okay, yeah, I am not doing well at all. Ah. Plus four. All right. All right, let's see here. I'm gonna... The wind is going with me now, so let's go ahead and see what I got going. Oh, oh, ah, oh, too far. That wasn't too bad. Wow, got a birdie on that one. I am pretty stoked. <laughs> That's cool. That's cool. Right. Okay. Okay. I see where I have to go on this. Let's go to the back swing and mm, okay, I can do that. And don't be afraid. Whenever you play this game, don't be afraid to switch switch hands if you need to in order to get that angle just right where you need to, you know. So let's go ahead and then we'll use my right hand. Swing this way. Not, not as good as I want. Yeah, I didn't pay attention to the... Um, the wind, it's seven miles per hour heading towards the east, so. Mm -hmm. 
So close. Like any game, once you get used to it... Par. Okay. Once you get used to it, and the controls and everything, it, it can be a really fun, really fun game. Alright. see what I got here. Oh, too far. Don't know my own strength there. <laughs> nah. Should be a little bit stronger there. Hmm. Right, here we go. Uh, double bogey. All right, so we have a few more holes left to go, looks like. All right. This one I'm going to try with my right hand. All right, let's see what we got here. Very cool. Cool, cool. All right. Mm, out of bounds. All right. Again, I, I forgot. I keep I keep forgetting to factor in the wind on this whole thing. Mmm. All right. Double bogey, okay. Alright, next stage. Alright. Hmm, in the rough patch, yeah. Alright, let's take a look here. Hmm. Okay. Okay. All right, let's see if I can do this. Ah, try. I was trying not to swing too hard on that. Took a, I took good position right there and just totally ruined it. It's, it. it's a feeling out process just to get, especially the putting, getting the putting down. All right, here we go. All right. Right, okay. Is that going to be good? Hmm. Hmm. All right. No, not not too good there. Ah, uh, par. Let's try this. All right. Mmm. Oh, so close, so close. And also, I will admit that I don't have experience with the different clubs and the best for each situation. So I'm not an expert on that. Let's see here. Mastering the uh, putt. <laughs> All right. Par. All right. Hmm. 
All right, here we go. Hmm. At least it was not in the water there. Ah. Okay. All right. Should hit that a little bit harder. Hmm. All right. Double bogey. Okay. All right. Twelfth hole. All right. Hmm. Ah. Okay. All right, let's see. Ah, not what I wanted. <laughs> oh, no. I think I just ruined this hole. Ah, oh, come on. Huh. Wow. Now I'm playing Pong with this. Ugh. Terrible, terrible. Alright, 13th hole. Okay. Wow, again. I'm falling apart here, guys. Plus five, okay. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Way out of bounds. And in a bunker. Ah. Oh. Bogey. This is not going to end well.
Oh. Okay. All right. Let's try number 16. No, didn't mean to do that. Ugh. I think I could have did pretty good on that last hole, but just kind of messed up on that. How about? All right. That's what I wanted to do. This is not working. <laughs> All right, here we go. No, 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 no. Okay. Okay. All right, 18th and final hole. Let's see what we can do here. See, let's try and make a comeback. Oh, so close. Par. All right. Total score. So close. I had it. I had it. I was there. All right. But okay, that was the the round play. 18 holes of golf there. Uh, match play. Let's take just take a quick look at that. It looks like it's probably a uh, maybe possibly a. Um, you have to beat a certain record, or you're against a computer or something, or... Yeah, you're against uh, somebody else. Actually, you're... You pass the joystick, or pass the uh, analog stick around to... Um, to somebody else. Uh, let's go back to the main menu. Alright. So that was match plays. You just play against somebody else. Tournament, it should be self-explanatory. You're just kind of different difficulties, the bronze, silver, gold, cup. And pretty much same thing. You just kind of go through and play it and uh, just try to win a trophy. Looks like, yeah. So yeah, pretty much like that. Oh, that was close. Oh, ah, oh, so close. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Would you? Ah, oh, come on. All right. Anyway, that was. Um, that was tournament mode and driving range. I think that what the, all that is is just kind of yeah, you just kind of see how far you can go. Which do this kind of like the home run derby and um, World Series baseball. You kind of see how far you can get that. It can be kind of fun, but it also can probably <laughs> start hurting your wrist and everything and your arm. All right, 328 yards. Let's see if I can beat that. Oh. <laughs> what? 
340, not bad. I'm sure there's techniques to do this to all right, let me try this. I'm going to try this for real here. Let's see what that does. Three hundred thirty-four. Okay. All right. Let's see what this got. This got ah uh, three hundred thirty-three. All right. One more. I'm going to do one more, and then we'll call it quits here. Oh, I think I messed up. Wow, no, maybe not. Three hundred forty-seven. That was that was uh that was probably my high. All right, that's it. Now I'm done. Yeah, three hundred forty-seven. That was pretty good. So anyway, that was the um, driving range. And pretty much there you go. That's the Golden T Golf, the home edition version of the arcade, popular arcade machine. Not too bad. It's fun. It's, it's cool. I like the little trackball on it. Like I said, it'd be cool if somebody could modify this to play make it play Centipede or Millipede or any of the famous trackball games. But uh, in in its on itself, it by itself, it's a good little plug and play. Um, so yeah, if you find it, pick it up and give it a shot. You might want to, might not want to do it too much because you know you kind of flicking your wrist and stuff. You kind of get your arm sore and everything. So that is uh, the Golden T. So that's another game, another plug and play we uh, checked out. So uh, thanks again for joining me. Next time around, it's uh, going to be very interesting. I've got a little something here. Um, now I'm not going to go through all of these games, but I've got this, uh, Super Joystick, the Super Joy 3, and, uh, I'll kind of explain what that is. It says it's got like 73,000 or 37,000 games on it, but we're, a lot of it repeats, so, um, I'll show you what this is next time around. Um, kind of interesting, but, uh. Stick around for that, and thanks again for joining me. Um, lots of games. Ugh, so many games, so little time. So uh, take care, everybody, and I will see you again next time. Whew, ow, my arm.